Welcome to Golden Isles TV. I'm your host Avery Brooks and today we are talking about Wine, Women and Shoes, an exciting event coming to the Cloister in February. This important event benefits hospice of the Golden Isles and has something for everyone. Fabulous shopping, a delicious lunch, fantastic fashion show, and don't forget the Shoe Guys. Hi, welcome to Golden Isles TV. We're talking about wine, women, and shoes, and I am so excited to be with the co-chairs for this year, the third annual Wine, Women, and Shoes, Sissy Thompson and Laura Lee Frazier. How are y'all? Great. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? I am good. Thanks for being here. Um, this event is so important. This is the third year, and it raises money every year for hospice. Tell me a little bit about that and why it's so important. Well, it's our third um, annual Wine, Women, and Shoes event, which is presented by the Auxiliary of Hospice of the Golden Isles, which benefits Hospice of the Golden Isles and serves five counties, which is so important. Absolutely. Yes, it is very important. We love putting on events like this. Well, this is such a fun community event. It's going to be held um, at Sea Island at the Cloister. Um, we hope everybody can get their tickets, but let's talk a little bit about uh, why it's so important. We actually have a testimonial from Mindy, so stay tuned. It's coming up next. Hospice not only took care of my mother, but they took care of us. Every other day, they would come to help her with her medications, help us with her bathing. They helped us with getting all the essentials that we needed. I always want to say that they are angels on earth. We knew that my mom was at peace and she was comfortable. That makes the biggest difference. Hi and welcome back to Golden Isles TV. We're here talking about wine, women, and shoes and I am here with the two co-chairs of this year's event. It's the third annual Wine, Women, and Shoes and it's going to be held at the Cloister on Sea Island in February. Now we're going to hear from Laura Lee about all the marketplace vendors that will be there. Yes, this year we're going to have a lot of repeat vendors that have been participating with us in the past two years, but we're also going to have some new vendors. We're going to have an extra or two fashion um, vendors, and we're going to have some shoe vendors, and we're also going to have a purse vendor there. So it sounds like you have a huge variety. We do. We will. We'll also have jewelry. There'll also be wine vendors will also be there, and we'll also be at the new Meisner Ballroom inside the Cloister. Wow, so everybody's going to be in one place this year. Yes, it will be fantastic. A lot of fun. And you've also got art. Yes, we do. We're going to have our silent auction again where you can bid on some items that you would like to buy. And we're going to have our live auction again. Great. I actually got to interview one of the Marketplace vendors who will be there, Erin Goodman. Um, her company, she started herself, Gunner's Daughter, um, is out of Brooklyn. But Erin is originally from the Golden Isles. Stay tuned. Erin's coming up next. Wine, Women & Shoes is going to be so exciting this year with so many great vendors. Today we have the opportunity to speak with one of the vendors who is out of New York from Brooklyn, but she is originally from the Golden Isles, Erin Goodman. Hi Erin, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Of course, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, now tell me about how you got started. I know your company is, is in Brooklyn. Um, but tell me how you originally got started with these beautiful bags and scarves. Right, so um, I went to SCAD in Savannah, Georgia, mm -hmm. um, and I studied fashion design there. And then after I left Savannah, I went to straight up to New York, and I worked for Tommy Hilfiger. And they have a very um, nautical kind of influence, and I started working in accessories there. And then Hurricane Sandy hit New York, and all of us had a little bit of time while um, New York was recovering. And in that time, I came up with the concept for the bags, and um, with a little bit of the influence from my my work at Tommy. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of came up with it just you know in my spare time. Yeah. So you had a little bit of time off to daydream and think about yes. new projects. Yes. Um, you're originally from the Golden Isles, so tell me how, what it was like growing up here on the coast. Well, when I was growing up, you know, everyone takes things for granted, and at, after I moved away, I realized how fortunate I was to grow up in such an amazing, gorgeous, like, scenic area, and um, every time I come back, I just 
and more inspired every time. So um, it was it was lovely when I I have wonderful memories of my childhood and and going to the beach and things that other people just are amazed by um, when you tell them oh I grew up on an island. Um, so I'm really appreciative of of my background here. Yeah, and you actually have some beautiful scarves. We're gonna get to that yeah. in just a minute. Um, tell us about this one right here that that we have on display. This is actually of. St. Simon's Island. Yes, so um, I, inside of my bags, I do um, linings, map linings, based off of uh, coastal towns in the United States, and the first one I did was Brooklyn, because that's where I produce all my bags and where I'm located, but of course I have such um, a warm place in my heart for St. Simon's and the Golden Isle, so I figured that was the next map to do, and so I have my college roommate from SCAD, she's an illustrator and she illustrates um, maps for me and this one in particular is of all the Golden Isles and um, and yeah it's on a silk scarf with some nautical some nautical influences um, I have some some of the rope and some of the brass hardware from the bags is actually on the scarf to tie back to it and um, it's lovely and when you wear it you can see the water lines and it almost looks like like water wearing around your neck so it's quite lovely when it's on. It's absolutely beautiful and it's 100% silk is that right? Yes and it's 100% uh, made in the United States as well so. Very important. Yeah. Well that is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, I'm back with Erin Goodman and we're talking about Gunner's Daughter, which is her company she started. Uh, she makes beautiful handbags and scarves. Erin, tell us about um, how you came up with the name for your company. So um, I wanted to come up with something that was feminine and also had a nautical kind of history to it. And so I was going through a nautical glossary and I found um, a saying that was used to be said, it was an old corporal punishment aboard pirate ship and they said instead of having someone walk the plank um, you could be made to kiss the gunner's daughter which meant they would <laughs> they would bend you over the cannon and they would lash you and it sounds a little grotesque however the name is I like it because it's feminine but it's also got a very strong kind of sound to it so I like the idea of like strong feminine femininity um, so that's kind of why I settled on that name Absolutely, I love it. It's very Thank classy. You. It's a little sassy. So. <laughs> classy and sassy at the yes, same time. that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, now we're going to talk about these beautiful bags. And then Erin is here because we're promoting Wine, Women, and Shoes. She's going to bring all of these beautiful things to Wine, Women, and Shoes, which is coming to the Cloister in February. Uh, this is a very important event, uh, all to raise money for charity for Hospice of the Golden Isles. Tell us about these bags. Let's get one of these yeah, of bags and, um, and look inside and, and Yeah, definitely. So the bags came before the scarves, and um, I wanted to do something that was 100% made and sourced in the United States. So a lot of places um, you see it says made in the USA, but all the materials might not be from the United States, mm -hmm. which is fine. But um, I really wanted to make that a mission statement of what I make because um, I think it speaks to the quality so um, it took me about two years to find all the people who are making the leather the chain the brass hardware um, and then the people who do the silk and the bag so um, it's been it's been a process but it's been really gratifying and rewarding because you feel like you're um, making a really amazing quality product and it's also all domestically made and sourced and those are it's American small businesses that we're supporting, and um, and I'm also an American small business, so it's great to work with other people similar to myself. Um, but anyway, so the bags come in leather and canvas, and inside of the bag is like we were speaking about the scarves is the maps of of the different coastal towns. This one is the Golden Isles, and um, and there's a little pocket inside for your cell phone and it, it's a really just kind of general shape that you can fit your iPad, your phone, your keys, just your necessities and you can kind of wear it all day. Um, another unique feature about the bags is that the straps are interchangeable. So for example, this we're displaying this one with the chain strap. Um, this one is kind of meant for a little bit more formal occasion 
but if you want to wear it, you know, out to the grocery store or wherever, um, we have the leather straps and you can easily put those in with the, um, the brass hardware, which is inspired by boat, boat hardware that you would find like on a sale. Um, so yeah. So many interesting parts to this bag. Um, it's beautiful, but I will say it's also very sturdy. Yes. Um, you can wear it cross body, yes. right, or just over your shoulder. So lots of different ways to wear it. Yes. Um, and it's beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's we're happy with it, and we hope that other people will, will see them and like them also. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, and they come in different colors. Yes. So we have this is called teak, and it's a tan, and it looks really good with pretty much everything. Um, this is the Atlantic blue, which is a very deep navy, and sometimes it reads as black, which is kind of nice, but in the sunlight, you see that it's actually a navy. And then we have um, the canvas version, which is really great for summer, and that also comes in a navy color as well. Absolutely. So fall, winter, spring, maybe. Exactly. You could buy one for every season. Exactly, that's the idea, so yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Of course, so happy uh, to be here. Yeah, and we will see you at Wine Women in Shoes in February with all of these beautiful things and more. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>great vendors at the event this year, but there are also going to be a couple of surprises. Laura Lee, tell me a little bit about some of the new things and surprises you have in store. Yes, this year we're going to have a champagne sip and sparkle at our patrons party on the Thursday evening before the event on Saturday. Uh, each participant will buy a raffle ticket and they will sh sip champagne from their glass and then one person will have the lucky diamond in the bottom of the champagne glass. That is so great about the diamond. I can't wait to see who wins. Um, this event is actually sponsored. The diamond event is sponsored by Chadwick's and we're gonna hear from Richard, the owner of Chadwick's right now. Stay tuned. This is Richard Heckel from Chadwick's. We're sponsoring a Sip and Sparkle special coming up. We're going to sell you a stone in a champagne glass. You're going to bring it up to us and individually and we're gonna to check to see whether it's a diamond or not, but we're not telling. At the end of the night when all the glasses are sold, we're going to announce who won the diamond. We're then going to take the diamond and set it in a mounting for you. Surprises and so much to look forward to, including the shoe guys. Stay tuned. Becky's going to tell us all about that coming up next. CrowdRise is an amazing fundraising site for charities. For our particular organization, our guys are competing for the two very important titles of King of Soul and Prince of Soul. Last year, our shoe guys raised over $13,000 for Auxiliary of Hospice of the Golden Isles. To vote for your guy, go to CrowdRise.com, search King of Soul, Auxiliary Hospice of the Golden Isles, and click away. The Wine Women's Shoes event takes place on Saturday, February the 20th, 2016, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can purchase tickets online at winewomenandshoesgoldenisles.com.